Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're gonna be talking about dynamic parameterization. So it's sometimes the case that we want to change how a test is parameterized at runtime. So for example, we may want to change which variants of a test exist based upon some command line uh, param. Now, the way that we do this in PyTest is through another hook, and this one's called PyTest Generate Tests. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So let's go ahead and open up our example here, which is this test dynamic param.py. And inside of here, we have a few familiar functions. We have our square function that squares a number, and then we have our test for our square function called test square. Now to test square here, we have a single param for our test, and that's gonna be this initial value. Now in the past, we've parameterized tests like this using the decorator uh, pytest mark parameterize, but this time we're going to dynamically parameterize our test. So we're dynamically going to say how our initial value is parameterized. And we're gonna do that with this hook pytest generate tests. Now that hook is going to live inside of our conftest.py file, just like our other fixtures do. So let's go ahead and open up conftest.py. And inside of here we have um, how we've defined this hook. Now our hook pytest generate tests is going to take this metafunk object. And this is another thing that's built into pytest um, that we can use to actually perform this parameterization and access um, aspects of our test. So inside our actual body of this hook, we're going to do two things. So number one, we're going to make sure that our initial value, right, that's our parameter to our test, we're gonna make sure that it exists inside of the fixture names. So we're just making sure that what we're trying to parameterize is actually being requested by this test. So we're going to check if initial value is in metafunk.fixture names. The next thing we're gonna do, if it exists, is we're going to go ahead and parameterize, right? our test. We're going to do that through this metafunk.parameterize. And this really acts the same way as uh, pytest mark parameterize. So we give it a parameter name, we give it the values, and we could also add any additional marks we want to add um, to these different values, right? So this is just another way that we can use to parameterize a test, but dynamically. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. And then the first thing we can do is of course we can run collection, right? So we didn't mark this test uh, with pytest mark parameterize, but we're dynamically parameterizing it. So let's see what happens at collection. So we'll do pytest dash dash uh, collect only on test dynamic param.py. And we go ahead and see we have five variants of this test. So we have test square with an input one all the way through five, right? These are the five values that we added using that metafunk uh, dot parameterize, right? So this uh, hook ends up running uh, before collection, right? So we end up getting all of these tests, and so we see them by the time we, we get to collection. Now, we can also run these tests just with pytest, test dynamic param.py, and of course we see all five tests get collected, they run, and they complete successfully. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. This is the initial introduction to dynamic test parameterization using PyTest Generate Tests. As always, you can learn more about this topic from the official PyTest docs at docs.pytest.org. So I'll link this section below on PyTest Generate Tests. You can also find any of the examples from this video uh, under repositories at github.com slash coffee before arch. And you can find all of these under the repository PyTest. I also have some guides written on PyTest as well under the PyTest guide repository, and I'll link to the one uh, on dynamic parameterization below the video. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.